Hey there, everybody. Happy Saturday, a sunny Saturday from Richmond, Virginia. I hope that all of you are doing good. It's deceptively nice outside. You look at the, out the window and it's like, wow, you know, I'm going to go out and maybe work in the garden. It's like, no, nope, girl, it's 35 degrees out there. So <laughs> you don't want to do that. I hope that y'all are good, that you're experiencing good weather today and sunny thoughts. You know, only we can create those sunny thoughts. So let's create some sunny thoughts. Uh, speaking of sunny and happy, I have four journals for the shop today. These are our, our patchwork tatty journals, so we're going to go through these, and I will show you each one, do a flip through each one. I am over the moon happy that you guys are enjoying these so much. I've gotten a lot of sweet feedback. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the reviews over at my Etsy store. I just appreciate each and every one of you so much. Thank you for supporting my heart, my art. I really do. Um, I really am grateful. Very appreciative. This book is called Dames. It's, again, a patchwork journal, and um, I'm, I'm having such, I can get totally lost in these uh, tatty embellishments here for the spine of the journals, and this is what the back looks like. This is a 5 by 7 journal. It has 120 pages. It's four signatures, 15 pages per signature, which is 30 sheets, and 4 times 30 is 120 I got the maths, y'all. I got it. <laughs> so let's take a look. Each of these books have four, uh, like I said, four signatures, and that makes eight pockets full of fun to play with, as well as these wonderful papers. I did, you guys, uh, use... Uh, you know, just a smattering of recipe pages, magazine pages. A lot of cardstock is in these books because I've been going to Michael's and picking up paper pads for five dollars. And you know, I'm not even I'm I'm not even fussed about what kind of paper pad I'm I'm picking up because as you know, as you guys well know, paper pads are a you know they're super expensive. Uh, they're twenty bucks. And it's really sweet to find such a good deal, as well as these papers that are in paper pads are so substantial, lends themselves, you know, just, just fine to do a little bit of sketching. Um, this is not watercolor paper. I don't, I don't think it would, it would, um, it would be great for watercolor. If you're looking for a collage journal, man, this is it. I curate these pages so you can see colors, so you can see ideas, shapes, uh, themes, that sort of thing. I think that the, the act of curating these is one of my most favorite things about pulling together these journals. And of course, you can use it just as a standard writing journal. These are wrap bound. All the pages just slip out really easily and go back into the book really easily. We have some stamped images in this one, art trading card blanks, art trading coin blanks, lots of things for you to explore your creativity, explore your spirit, and how that spirit uh, is transformed into your art. I can look back and I can look at some of the art that I did several years ago and I can actually, I can see my mood. I can see where I was in my journey. I can see my certainty as well as my uncertainty when I go back and look at things that I've done. I'm not big on keeping all of my art journals, but I do keep portions of my art journals, not the whole thing. As you guys know, I have, and justifiably so, I have um, an aversion to stuff. That makes me not care. <laughs> 
keep hardly anything. I know that sounds strange, especially, you know, in a junk journal world where we uh, tend to, um, you know, have stashes. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll tell you a really long story one day, but not today. Let's just focus on this pretty journal. And look, there's even a note right here on the back of this beautiful Get Well card. Gotta love some salvage script when you can find it right. Handwriting is going out of style. Better snag it while you can. All right, this one is called Dames. And a dame is a lady or a noble lady. I like that, that definition. This one is called Bells. Now, a bell is a popular and attractive girl or a woman, especially a girl or a woman whose charm and beauty make her a favorite. You know, we, uh, the Austin girls were bells of the ball. Anytime that there was a ball in around their area, um, in Steventon, you know, they were the bells of the ball. Again, a, uh, a tatty spine piece right here. Let's look through this one. The pockets are a bit filled. This one says explore. Text pages. Sheet music. I really like the way that this turned out because there's, um, there's just this sweet uh, image of an elephant right here. And you'll notice that this magazine catalog page of fabrics has elephants on it too. So I thought that that would be fun for you to play with. And kitty cats, a little bit of advertising. Napkins, because napkins are always a lot of fun to remove from this journal. You know, you could remove the pieces and parts and then do a glue book thing on these pages that are blank. That would be awesome. You can use it for anything. You can use it for a diary or a journal or maybe just something to inspire you in the morning. Maybe you're going to take 10 minutes every morning, get out your junk journal and see what all you could make with all of the elements. And then the cool thing is when you make something, you can stick it right back into the pocket of the journal. It's a storage unit as well. <laughs> we want to get down to brass tacks. <laughs> you can store a lot in here. A hundred and twenty sheets. All kinds of papers for you to create with. If you're a paper holic or if you know someone who's a paper holic, it's like mmm. That would be like a perfect gift for a paperholic. Love this right here. I think Michelle sent that. It's a butterfly. The coffee dyed papers that I've been doing are featured in here, as well as the coffee dyed index papers are also in these books as well. I'm sorry, really out of frame. If you're into card making, there's plenty of um, four by six cards in here that you can collage and play with. Find out where you truly belong. Mm, that's a that's an interesting journal prompt right there, isn't it? I do have. A few bookmarks in here, tags. That's a fun project. Just get out one of the tags and collage that baby or color it or paint it or do whatever you want to do with it. There's also a lot of natural nature in these books as well because I was working with some old calendars. So we have belts. one is Francais, which means French. 
And this is what the spine looks like. You guys might notice that I've um I've kind of done something a little I'm out of the small rings that I was using on these, but I did find some Tim Holtz rings like this, so I thought, well, I think that will work out just fine, and uh, it actually did work out really, really well. Zebras. Have you ever seen the, the little YouTube clip where the three-year-old has painted his baby brother with marker and he painted him like a zebra and mom says what have you done and the three-year-old says he's a zebra <laughs> mom says he's a what <laughs> and this kid said zebra he's a zebra it's so funny i have started collecting funny videos it's really important to laugh and i don't do enough of it i was speaking of laugh now this isn't laugh this is i watched last night on netflix a movie an agatha christie movie called crooked house wow it was set in 1957 you know a lot of agatha christie's works are very very early right this one was 1957 it was fantastic. Uh, it had Glenn Close in it. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember her name. She was the secretary on Mad Men. Mad Men, the rather buxom uh, secretary. It was just such a good movie. You know, you, you can sit down and kind of get lost in things like that. So it's very. I'm an Agatha Christie addict, and I had I had never even heard of that book and definitely of course had not read it so the movie was an entire surprise really 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 good i love those period pieces you can see the you know the english aristocracy and uh, where they live and and the houses are just i mean that's just a, a movie in itself to see the those houses and decor and of course I love the conversations and the actual language that goes on in Agatha Christie movies I also watched hmm the um, I don't remember the title of this one but it's the one that imagines what happened to Agatha Christie when she disappeared remember that was in 19 was it 1926 i forget the year she uh, she was gone for like 10 days and nobody knew where she was and everybody's looking for her and people had thought that she had died or committed suicide or been killed or whatever i can't remember the name of that one but it was really good too i think that was on netflix as well this is a little bit of a diversion this is little women and um there's a quote up here that says i am not afraid of storms for i am learning to sail my ship and of course that's louisa may alcott this is a beautiful quote right here the great drawing room was haunted by a fateful spirit that came and went unseen this is a painting by jesse wilcox smith i think it's just beautiful michelle sent this along i did some stitching around it you know, if you know anyone who plays piano or loves Little Women, this would be like a perfect book. Or if you yourself play piano and love Little Women, then this would be the book for you. I really love this too. Someone made this as well. I love this. Um, I think that's a Vermeer, but I'm not. I'm not totally sure. napkins this is something i colored not much into coloring but occasionally i'll do a little bit of coloring i used to love to color when i was little it was really one of my favorite things to do 
You know, you get a new box of crayons. Mm -mm -mm. Remember how that smelled? <gasps> Remember wanting that 64 pack of crayons so bad? <laughs> Remember going to school and kids actually had that and you were thinking, wow. They must be super rich. Their mommy and daddy must have mega money if they've got a 64 pack and it had the, the sharpener on it. Oh, see, I was swooning over things like that when I was six years old. Me and paper and coloring and art have, we have a long history. Mia's snoring, if you hear her. She's been so sweet lately. She's been a cuddle bug. She's been getting in the bed with me at night and just finding her little spot. Oh, it's just such a comfort to to wake up, you know, in the night and have her there. And oh my goodness, I just love my little puppy, y'all. She's not a puppy. She's 13. She's a puppy to me. She's a little girl like me. I love all of these words, destination, places, explore together, travel destination, moments, adventure. And then you've got a suitcase right here in the rainforest. A little bit of painty paper, a kitty cat. Tons of things to work with, play with, write on, draw on. Some, I picked these up at uh, Dollar General. Are they not just really pretty? They are from American Greetings. I just think that the colors are just stupendous on them. I'm getting, getting belt ready for that. This is a piece that I made that has like a 1950s couple on it. Getting ready for Valentine's. Don't, don't do much with the Valentine's here. But it's cool. Last year, Chris got me bubble bath. And that was awesome. That's, he got me a sleep machine. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, off. I just need to start standing up. But I've been standing up in the kitchen cooking. And my back gave out a little bit. Sorry. And another fat pocket for you to play with there. That sleep machine has been the best thing in the world because it helps me not only get to sleep, but stay asleep. And I listen to crickets and crackling fires and it has some ocean sounds on it. Oh my goodness, it's just really nice. I do love it. All right, guys, there we go. We have four journals ready to go into the store today. And um, thanks you know, again for supporting this little project that I'm doing. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great, great sunny day. See you later. Bye.